Now, Tom, you keep saying that as mayor, you focus on education. What can a mayor do about education? Education is so important. It, it really is where we have to start. Um, we can be as successful in bringing jobs and wealth to Dallas as any of us can imagine. But in reality, if we don't address the educational system, we're not going to be successful. And that's why I think if you look across the country, nine out of ten of the mayors of the ten largest cities are engaged in education. They're engaged in it because they understand how important it is. And what's interesting is only in three of those cases does the mayor have a relationship, a structural relationship between City Hall, the mayor, and the school districts. In the other ones, it's the same thing we've talked about over the last couple of minutes. They understand if they're going to achieve anything in their city, that they have got to address education. I go out through the community and I ask, how many of you know someone that moved out of Dallas because of the educational system? And it's 80 or 90 percent that raise their hand. And what's interesting is it doesn't matter if it's North Dallas or if it's South Dallas. It's the same proportion. The mayor can do an awful lot. We need to start from the premise that we don't have much choice. The, the mayor can use the position to shine a light on education to engage constituencies that Dallas Independent School District and, and the other school districts that we have within the city limits can't do. You know, Seventy percent of the people in Dallas are not touched by the Dallas Independent School District. Don't, don't, don't have kids that are involved. But they need to understand how important it is. How important it is to them. If we don't improve the education system, we're going to continue to see the tax base deteriorate. And for a lot of people, they're going to continue to see their property values go down. And that's a real danger because for a lot of our older citizens, that's really the equity. That's really their, their retirement. So we need to make sure that they understand how important education is to the city and the city's success, just bringing in businesses. I moved a large company here. I can tell you how important it is to be able to communicate to business people where their children are going to be in school. I, I think the mayor can also be viewed as an objective, a more objective voice when it comes to Austin, when it comes to Washington, make sure that we're getting the monies that are appropriate for us. I'm not convinced that we're getting the dollars that other Texas cities are, especially when you take into consideration some of the challenges of an urban education and some of the special costs and, and expenses that, that we've got on that. So I think the mayor can be an important influence on that. I, I think the mayor can also do a number of things in terms of stretching the buck, so to speak. Uh, we've done some good things on mirroring capital expenditures where we're using a library or a recreational facility and we're doubling up between the school district and, and the city. But I think we can do more, especially in maintenance budgets and some of those sorts of things. And then, and then I think the mayor can be instrumental too in the allocation of resources. We all know that drugs don't just stop at the, at, at the school campus. DISD has a police force and they do a very good job of policing the, the, the schools. We need to understand that if we can integrate the Dallas Police Department, we'll create a much safer buffer for, for our schools. And then I think finally, and maybe the most important, the Dallas Independent School District is initiating a program to improve their schools. It's called Dallas Achieves. And a key part of that is what the Dallas Independent School District will do in terms of the educational component. But there's another piece of what the community needs to do and how they, they, they come in. It's that bridge, it's that transformational bridge that I think the mayor can be very, very instrumental in providing. And I'm passionate on education. I, I bring a very different perspective. It's one that started way, way beyond the political side. I went to public schools junior college when, when, when I grew up and I was very blessed because all of a sudden for reasons I can't explain to be truthful with you I ended up going to a very fine college and then a graduate school that gave me some opportunities that as a young boy I would have never dreamed existed much less had an aspiration to, 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 to get to so I understand how important education is Ed education changed my life and I think it can change the city it's also the one one way that we can take areas of our city and truly elevate them. Again, not just short term, but long term. I sit on the boards of four different educational institutions today. I chair the West Dallas Initiative, which is a small school of 150 kids, tough neighborhood. $8,500 is the median income. 84% uh, of the kids have a single parent. But even in that environment, we're able to have the kids test at 90th percentile in math and 75th percentile on language arts so it can be done. So those are some of the things that, that the mayor can do. In the end, we just don't have a choice. If we fail on education, we're not just failing our children, we're going to fail our future. We don't have a choice. If we're going to have a mayor that's going to lead the city, that mayor is going to have to attack the issues 
that are going to make a difference, that are going to affect the success of this city 5, 10, 15, and 20 years out, and education has to be on the top of that list.